Can I congratulate the member for Don Valley for securing this debate, which gives me another opportunity to raise important local transport priorities with government. The economic opportunity for an area like Mansfield, the largest town in Nottinghamshire, is greatly improved by good transport links. The ability to attract new employers, create jobs, so often comes from quick and easy access to major motorway networks and rail networks. And this major infrastructure needs to be supported by government. Often these projects are on a scale that they're not viable for local authorities to consider alone. Within the town of Mansfield itself, we've seen similar challenges to all growing towns. The housing's built, but the infrastructure can't cope, particularly our roads that were built for a time when fewer, if any, cars were on the road. And the A60, the main road through my constituency, is a prime example of this. To the south, it's congested by a poorly planned retail park, with 1,700 new homes shortly to be built as well, whilst to the north, it's narrow and surrounded by housing that makes expansion incredibly difficult. Well, I very much welcome the Secretary of State's multiple visits that have built great momentum behind plans to improve the junction and traffic flow at the retail park, and I hope to be able to secure government support for the project this year. But the roads were just not built for a town of this size. There's economic opportunities too from road investment, including the A617 known as the Mansfield-Nashfield Regeneration Route, or the MAR. It's been growing steadily to accommodate new housing and could expand further, both to support new jobs and provide an increasingly necessary route for heavy traffic to get around Mansfield rather than plough through the middle of it. As well as road, rail infrastructure can have a big impact. Increasingly, people see Mansfield as a commuter town, travelling to Nottingham or Sheffield. But we don't have a national rail link, just the Robin Hood line to Nottingham. And I want to improve this. We have one of the best value, money, value for money rail expansion projects in the country. We're opening an existing line, extending the Robin Hood from Shirebrook through to Warsaw, Edwinstow, Ollerton, linking historically deprived communities up to jobs on former collieries at Welbeck and Thorsby Pit, tying in our tourism offer in Sherwood Forest and giving access for our towns to make the most of the social and economic opportunities of that tourism, and in future leaving just a short hop from Mansfield directly to the HS2 hub at Chesterfield. HS2 could be a game changer for town like, towns like ours, but it only works if communities can access it effectively and efficiently, and these local lines will be absolutely pivotal to that. There's major opportunities to utilise transport improvements to support ever-growing towns, whether that's boosting infrastructure or improving scope to attract new jobs and businesses. I hope that government's priorities uh, it's, government's priorities in the industrial strategy will genuinely seek to boost towns which are often more deprived, more isolated, more in need of support. And East Midlands in particular sits at the bottom of the list of government regional investment um, and transport can play a big role in changing this. I'll continue to raise these cases and relatively cheap projects that can make all the difference to, the, to our community with the Department of Transport.